हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास टिल नाउ वी डिड 26 सिक्स प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन डोमेन ऑफ ए फंक्शन इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डू अनदर फोर प्रॉब्लम्स इन दिस फोर प्रॉब्लम्स आई एम गोइंग टू यूज फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट फंक्शन ग्रेटेस्ट इंटर फंक्शन एंड इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑन वर्ड्स वी विल डू द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन डोमेन ऑफ ए फंक्शन इन्वॉल्विंग विथ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शंस and domain of a function involving with inverse trigonometric functions to understand today's problems it is important you must know what is fractional part function this is graph of fractional part function fractional part function is denoted like this f of x equal to like this flower bracket of x this is fractional part of x this is also written as x minus step x fractional part of x is nothing but x minus step x here you observe what is domain and range of fractional part function that is what i want to discuss what is domain is this uh, function is defined for all real numbers you see it is defined for all real numbers you take 0.5 respect to y value is there you take 2.5 respect to value is there you take minus 1.5 respect to value will be there so domain of this function is all real numbers you take any real number respect to value we can calculate okay so domain of this function is all real numbers what is range of this function whatever x value you take its answer is in between 0 and 1 try to understand this please clearly what is the range of this function zero is possible yes you will get zero when you will get zero that also i'll discuss what is range of this function range of this function is closed interval 0 to open interval 1 you take any real value and substitute in this you always get a number in between 0 and 1 if you want to check you can check for example if you want to calculate fractional part of minus 1.5 in this wherever x is there there you write minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus step step in place of x you write minus 1.5 let's see what i'll get minus 1.5 minus step minus 1.5 here minus 1.5 lies in between minus 2 and minus 1 left hand side what integer is there that answer we will write so what you will get here this is minus 2 so minus 2 here minus of minus plus 2 minus 1.5 2 minus 1.5 is 0.5 you try to understand what i am saying whatever real value you take this uh, fractional part function always gives a number in between 0 and 1 the important thing what i am trying to say when this fractional part function gives zero whenever you take x is an integer its fractional part value is zero you take any integer suppose 2 2 is integer or not i'll calculate fractional part of 2 uh, right here 2 minus step 2 okay what you will get 2 minus step 2 is 2 only right 2 minus 2 is zero what i am trying to say fractional part function gives zero whenever x is an integer okay we learned that domain of fractional part function is all real numbers and fractional part function always gives the number in between 0 and 1 0 is included 1 is not included you observe this question number 27 we need to find domain of this function what is this function logarithm of x minus step x here just now we learned that fractional part of x is nothing but x minus step x so this x minus step x i can write like this logarithm of fractional part of x we know that logarithm is defined for positive real numbers only whatever the fractional part of x is there here that must be greater than 0 fractional part of x greater than 0 we know that fractional part of x value always lies in between 0 and 1 there is a chance that fractional part of x will be 0 but here fractional part of x we want greater than 0 whatever you take number in this interval all are greater than 0 except 0 now you need to identify the x values for which fractional part of x is 0 just now we discussed it now whenever you take x is an integer whenever you take x is an integer fractional part of x is 0 so what are the x values for which fractional part of x is greater than 0 that is all real numbers except integer 
except integer please try to understand in case if you take x is an integer fractional part of x will become 0 as I need fractional part of x is greater than 0 I cannot choose integer other than integer you take any real number this fractional part of x gives a number in between 0 and 1 so so what is domain of this function domain of this function is all real numbers except integers so for these values this function is defined that's why this is domain of this function this is interesting question and little difficult also to try right let's see the solution you observe in this square root is there na? whenever square root is there this expression in the square root must be greater than or equal to zero so what i'll write here logarithm of step x base fractional part of x must be greater than or equal to zero logarithm is defined for positive real numbers only na? step x base fractional part of x we know that logarithm is defined for positive real numbers only that's why this step x must be greater than zero and fractional part of x also must be greater than zero and this base value cannot be equal to one now we need to find x values which satisfies all three conditions now first this one you observe this what is fractional part of x we know that fractional part of x value is always in this interval whatever number you take that number is in between 0 and 1 so you take this to this side then what you will get step x this value is in between 0 and 1 in last class also i discussed it when base value is in between 0 and 1 when i take this to this side this inequality changes this is what this is some number in between 0 and 1 when i take this to this side as per the definition of logarithm this greater than or equal to changes to less than or equal to because this is the number which is less than 1 in between 0 and 1 and what you will get there is some number which is in between 0 and 1 whole power 0 suppose 0 0.5 whole power 0 is what is 1 so you will get 1 here I hope you understand this as per the definition of logarithm fractional part of x whole power 0 is 1 because fractional part of x is a value which lies in between 0 and 1 base cannot be 0 we won't consider base 0 if base is 0 this is not defined that value that condition we will get here do not worry now step x is less than or equal to 1 for what x values step x is less than or equal to 1 you observe here whenever I take an interval in between minus infinity to 2 you take any number in this interval substitute here its value is less than 1 for example you take 1.9 step 1.9 is 1 right step minus 1.5 minus 2 minus 2 is less than 1 you take any value in this interval you substitute in this it satisfies okay so these are the x values which satisfies this inequality come to this one step x is greater than 0 step x is greater than 0 equal to 0 is not given step x is greater than 0 what are the x values for which step x is greater than 0 closed interval 1 to infinity you take step 1 step 1 is 1 that's why 1 is included 1 is greater than 0 now. suppose if you take 0 0.9 step 0 0.9 is 0 0 is not greater than 0 so all these values satisfies this inequality now you observe this one fractional part of x greater than 0 here what x values satisfies this condition domain of fractional part of x is what all real numbers but whenever i take x is an integer fractional part of x will gives you zero so what are the x values which satisfies this condition all real numbers except integers x is any real number other than integer satisfies this condition if you take x is an integer fractional part of x will become zero i hope you are understanding you take x is any real number other than integer its answer is always greater than zero and less than one also what i need i need x values which satisfies all three conditions first i'll do intersection of these two later i'll intersect with this third interval intersection of these two you observe what is intersection of these two to understand you the things clearly i'll mark these sets on the number line minus infinity to 2 you mark this on the number line minus infinity to 2 you will get like this this is minus infinity to 2 now 1 to infinity you mark it on the number line 1 is included here that's why this is closed circle 1 to infinity like this what is the common part of these two sets this is first set this is second set common part is this x belongs to 1 is there in both the sets so x belongs to closed interval 1 open interval 
2. So intersection of these two is closed interval 1, open interval 2. Now intersection of this set and this set. What is this set? All real numbers except integers. You observe in this any integer is there? Yes, 1 is integer. 1 is integer. When I do intersection of this set and this set, when I do intersection of this set and this set, what I'll get? I'll, I, I need to remove the integers, that's it. So intersection of these two sets is x belongs to open interval 1 comma 2. So if you take any x value in this interval, this function is defined. So what is domain of this function? Domain of this function is open interval 1 comma 2. You observe this question number 29. We need to find domain of x power 1 divided by log x. You observe this here log is there na? log x defined only when this part is positive. So x must be greater than 0 and you see here this is of the form f of x by g of x. Here f of x by g of x is there. Na? This g of x cannot be equal to 0. That means log x cannot be equal to 0. If log x is 0, then denominator will become 0. Then this function is not defined. Now we need to find x values which satisfies this condition. Okay, x greater than 0. This is clear. Now log x not equal to 0. When this log x is 0, when this x value is 1, log 1 is 0. That means x cannot be equal to 1 x value cannot be equal to 1. That's it. So what is domain of this function? All x values which are greater than 0 but x cannot be equal to 1. This is very simple problem but by seeing this problem we will confuse initially right. So what are the x values satisfying both the conditions? All positive real numbers except 1. So I will write like this open interval 0 to 1 union 1 to infinity. As I written open interval 1 is not included. All positive real numbers except 1 or else you can write like this also all positive real numbers except 1. You can write like this also. I hope you understand this. You observe this question number 30. By seeing question itself, you may worry because so many things are there in this question. You observe square root is there, modulus is there, step function. This is step function, step mod x minus 1. Two modulus are there, but nothing to worry. You can do this problem very easily. You always believe in the concept, follow it blindly. You observe this, this is in the form of f of x divided by g of x. g of x cannot be equal to 0. And one more thing, this denominator is in under root. So whatever is there this expression, what is this expression? Modulus of step mod x minus 1 minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. This is in under root, na? we must write greater than or equal to 0. But as this expression is in the denominator, denominator cannot be equal to 0, I will write strictly greater than 0. Now you take minus 5 to other side. Modulus of step mod x minus 1 greater than 5. We know this formula mod x is greater than a. Then you can write like this x is less than minus a or x is greater than a. I will use this formula. See modulus of some expression greater than a mod x greater than a just I applied this formula here I consider this as some x now I need to find for what x values this inequality holds good see this step of some expression step of some expression is less than minus 5 that means you take any number here less than minus 5 you take any number here suppose this is step minus 5.1 step minus 5.1 is what step minus 5.1 is minus 6 is minus 6 is less than minus 5 yes minus 6 is less than minus 5 so what value satisfy this condition if this value is less than minus 5 so this value is less than minus 5 then this inequality holds good i hope you are understanding r and you see this one step mod x minus 1 greater than 5 for what values of this expression this step will be greater than 5 you observe here if i take this value as 5.9 step 5.9 is what step 5.9 is 5 only is 5 is greater than 5 no so this expression i can take like this mod x minus 1 must be greater than or equal to 6 Step 6 is 6 only, na? 6 is greater than 5, it is true. If I take this expression as 6.1, step 6.1 is 6, 6 is greater than 5. So this inequality holds good when this expression is greater than or equal to 6. 
Now what I'll do, I'll take this minus 1 to other side. Then what you will get? Minus 4, right? Or you observe this one, mod x is, you take minus 1 to other side, mod x greater than or equal to 7. For what values of x? Modulus of x is less than minus 4. You know that modulus of x always gives a positive real number. 0 is also possible. But you will never get mod x value less than minus 4. Modulus of x less than minus 4. Is it possible? There is no x value which satisfies this condition. You take any real x value. That value is positive or 0. It never be negative. So this case is not possible. So for this inequality, we won't get any x value. No x value satisfies this inequality. Now come to this modulus of x greater than or equal to 7. You return this formula here now. Modulus of x greater than or equal to me. A means x less than or equal to a or x greater than or equal to a. Modulus of x greater than or equal to 7. What I can write here? I can write x less than or equal to minus 7 or x greater than or equal to 7. So what are the x values satisfying both the condition means there is no x value satisfying this condition. What are the x values satisfying this condition means these are the x values satisfying this condition. So for these x values this function is defined that's why this is the domain of this function. I hope you understand this class. Dear friends finding domain of a function is little difficult thing only but with practice we can overcome this difficulty. In next class, I am going to do the problems finding domain of a function which is invo which involves with trigonometric functions. Please drop a like. If you like this video, then I'll feel happy and I'll get more energy to create many videos. And share these videos with your friends without fail. In case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.